Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rebecca and on this channel I go through all things accounting, finance, Excel and investment related. So if you like this kind of stuff, then please do consider subscribing and otherwise let's jump straight into the video. So we're using the demo data stationary and computer mark UK in Sage 50 cloud accounts. And I'm going to show you three specific reports that, that are really useful, whether you are reporting on just month end balances or if you are preparing a set of financial statements for a client. So the first report is called the age debtors report. So let me show you how you can run that first. So if we go to customers here, go all the way along to reports. Now we need to click on age debtors here. And if we just scroll down, I think it's closer to the bottom than the top. Yep. We've got this age debtors analysis summary. So just double click on that. Now, this report here is going to give you a list of all of the balances due from customers. So it's not going to break it down between sales invoices, sales credit notes, etc. It's just going to be the net balance for a list of customers that are due at that particular point in time. So you don't necessarily have to do this monthly or annually. You can do this daily if you want to, but I'm just going to change this date to the 31st of August. I'm not going to take these two boxes here, so I'm not going to take include future transactions or exclude lace payments. I'm just going to click on OK. So what we see here is a preview of the age debtors analysis summary report. So you can see here that you've got your list of customers. You've got your account number on there, your account name, credit limit, turnover, balances, future, current, period one, period two, period three and older. So this is actually a really useful report. And a lot of the time when I've dealt with auditors in the past and when I was an auditor, there is something that they ask for as part of the year end analysis. And they don't just want the age debtors report. So they don't just want to see what is due from customers at year end. What they'll want to see sometimes is also a turnover reconciliation or they'll want to have a look at your top 10 turnover balances in the year with customers. So who were your top 10 customers in the year in effect? So this report is really good because it shows you that information there. And some of the reports that you run don't necessarily give that information to you. So for me, it's a very useful report indeed. So as you can see here, you can run this as is. You can review it on screen. It gives you the day and time that it was run. Or you can export this by clicking on the export button. So you can actually export this report in PDF or Excel or whichever format is good for you by clicking on the export button and just finding where you want that information to be saved down. Or you can even print it if you've got your printer set up. So I'm going to exit this by clicking on close here, but you can also close it by clicking on the X button up there. So that, like I said, gave you a net balance due from those customers or their credit balance on their account at the 31st of August. But if I want to see that in a detailed format, so if I want a listing of all the sales invoices, sales credit notes, etc., on their account, then I can run another report, which is called the age debtors analysis detailed. So if we double click onto this here, we're being asked the transaction date period. So again, I'm just going to change this end one to the 31st of August. I'm going to click on OK. So in this preview, you can see there that you've got a listing of where they've had a payment on account, for instance, or a sales invoice. So if you go down to type here, SI sales invoice and SA is the payment on account in this case. So if we go down to say Compton Packaging, you can see there that they've got five different sales invoices that are due and that's aged by period as well. So you can see there that all of those relate to older balances. So if I scroll down on here all the way to the bottom, I can do that by using just my mouse or I can just click on this here. You can then see the grand total balance and you can see that again by future current period one, period two, period three and older. You can even go to using this little go to page up here. And again, you can export in a format that is useful to you. So whether that be Excel or PDF or a different version. And the other thing that you can do, which I'm not going to show you in this video, but within Sage, you can always edit specific reports that you want to run. So if you want to add information to that report, you can do using the report builder or if you want to change the way that it looks. So instead of it saying period one, period two, period three, say in less than 30 days, 31 to 60 days, 61 to 90 days, for example, then you can do. But again, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. So we're going to close this one down here and move on to the next report. So those reports, again, are good at giving you information at a certain snapshot in time. So 
So whether that be again month end, year end or even a certain day in the month. But what they don't show you is the actual movement in the month. So if you want to see the movement in the month, you can go down to this day box report down here. So again, if we scroll all the way down, we've got multiple choices here. Now, if you're unsure as to what a specific report does, there is a little description box here that I can't seem to expand if I just expand that there that tells you exactly what that does. So the one that I like the most is this paid invoices summary because that shows you the invoices that have been paid and an overview of those transactions in the month. Now that again is a summary version but if you scroll down ever so slightly you can find the paid invoices detailed where that again will break that down via invoice. So if I double click on here and just change that to the 31st of August 2021 and click OK. So what we've got here is a listing of all transactions for every customer and that's in date order that you can see here. And again, you can scroll down using the sidebar and you can obviously export that into Excel just to make that a little bit easier to see. Whereas if we go on this paid invoices summary and just put in the same dates again, you get a more summary version of that information. So, so I'm going to end the video there. So I'm trying to keep these videos quite short and sweet where possible because I know sometimes there's a lot of information that you're trying to intake in a video. So I just try to spread this across different videos once a day in this Sage 50 Cloud Accounts mini series. So again, if there's anything that you want to be featured in these videos, then just let me know in the comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up. If you like the video, consider subscribing as always, and I shall see you on the next video.